uh, hi friends uh, so uh, today we are going to talk about a topic called what is the best time to invest in equities uh, many people keep asking me is it the right time to invest in equity market so uh, somewhere in this video i am going to explain what is the ideal time for making an investments in the equities before i start with that let's just look at few information about equity investing so what are the ways in which an equity investing can be done uh, basically there are three ways of doing an equity investing one is a direct equity investing wherein what you do is you open a demat account and you make investments from your side the only thing is you should be aware of the risks which are there as part of equity investments and whatever companies you are investing you should read the fundamentals of the company and make investments you should never go by some tips or some information which comes from a uh, another person and then make equity investing that may not be the desirable thing because sometimes uh, your equity investing returns can be negative which can even erode your capital uh, in a direct equity investing you can also take help of some uh, advisors uh, they can also help you in equity investing or you can even go through a portfolio management service where you give your capital to an external investment research advisor and they will make investments on your behalf and manage your money the second route of investing in equities is through mutual funds when i say equities equities of all your listed places is what i'm discussing in point 1 and point 2 so second option is through mutual funds that is you invest in an equity mutual fund the mutual fund will pool the money together after pooling the money together they will make investments from their side they will look at which are the companies doing well so they'll do entire fundamental analysis or any technical analysis to be done they will check all the uh, corporate governance and other issues and they will make investments from their side we just need to invest in mutual fund and you will become technically a part owner of multiple companies the third option is investing in unlisted securities uh, this is also one mode which is picking up you can make investments uh, there are uh, few platforms available by which you can invest in unlisted securities or you may get to know about a deal from your friends and family and by that way you can invest in unlisted security the only issue with unlisted securities is uh, liquidity may not be there now uh, it is a very well known fact that equities are likely to give higher returns as compared to debt instruments but still people normally have that reluctance to invest in equities and the reason for that is when you invest in equities there is a possibility that your capital itself can go away you could have invested 10 lakh you may get back only 8 or 7 lakh there is a possibility that capital can erode if there are negative returns and some people get into this intraday trading or futures and options there the entire capital can also get eroded because you play with some margins so investing in equities can give you healthy returns proper risk management is needed so if you manage your risks properly investing in equities is going to be very beneficial because over the longer run it can easily give you 12 14% return and i would have discussed in one mutual fund video that how even a 1 or 2% variation in return can lead to a huge variation in the accumulated corpus so for investing in equities a known fact is it will give healthy returns but still i don't want to invest because there is a possibility of negative returns another issue with the equity investing is okay i've decided that i want to invest in equity market now the problem for me is uh, when should i invest it is the nifty nifty and sensex are the two indices which are there from india's point of view so is the index at the bottom because what people try to see is have i reached the bottom of the market if i have reached the bottom of the market i'll try to make some fresh investments but if you uh, go through past price movements you will find that it is impossible to catch a bottom you will feel that the bottom of the market is reached market may even fall further sometimes you may feel that uh, you have reached the top and you start exiting your position but you will see that the market has started moving up so it is impossible for someone to find the bottom of the market also find the top of the market so then how do i time the market 
or what is the best time to invest in equities because in this video I am going to talk about that what is the best time to invest in the equity market before that uh, before I give you that what is the best time you look at the historical nifty values these are the historical nifty value I think I have mapped it from January 2010 till May 2022 this graph starts from Jan 2010 it goes on so this is beyond this also there is some value so it is still May 2022 it was around 4500 broadly that number and today it is around 16000 so broadly 4x around 3.8x or 4x is the movement in the nifty over a period of uh, I think 10 years uh, to, uh, sorry 12 years over a period of 12 years we are able to see a significant movement and the movement is uh, around 4x this is the movement in the nifty but when you look at this movement you will see that there will always be some fall here and there happening there you will see keep seeing some fall it's not that it's a straight line like this this is the problem the problem with equity investing is it's never a straight line over the longer run if i draw a diagram like this you can see that it is consistently gone up but markets will keep moving up coming down now what happens is when it falls down significantly and you want to move out of the market you will feel the pressure you will feel the pressure because market has significantly corrected and at this time you are looking to exit out of the market because of some requirements or you are now panicking because markets have fallen you are generating negative returns so you don't want to continue investing in the markets now these are the monthly returns you see negative returns are part and parcel of the market uh, in fact the worst negative returns was March 2020 uh, that was the during the time of COVID uh, the market had corrected by 23 percent but when you look at this chart properly you will see that whenever there is a significant correction the next month or next to next month you will see a significant up movement always this has happened correction up movement correction up movement and in fact there is a series of up movements after the COVID correction up movement many a times you will see the correction happening the immediate month there could be an up movement or maybe in two three months so then what am i concluding what is the best time to invest in equity according to me the best time to invest in equities is today whatever day you want to start with equity investments there cannot be a better time the only thing is you should invest for a longer period you should ideally go through an sip route and sip route is every month you will have to invest and you should invest for a longer period of time why am i concluding this what i did is i calculated the historical three year five year and ten year sip returns from the period january 2020 to march 2022 i selected this period because i wanted that covid impacted period also to be there because march 2020 was the significant correction in the market now what is what did we calculate is at the end of every month the trailing three year returns five year returns and ten year returns that is if for example january 2020 we calculated from jan 2017 to jan 2020 that's a three year return or jan 2015 to jan 2020 that's a five year return and jan 2010 that was my starting period from there till jan 2020 it's a 10 year return so we went with the historical values and calculated three year returns five year returns 10 year returns for every month from january 2020 that entire 2020 entire 2021 and 2022 27 months this calculation was done and you look at this if you do a longer period investment if you invest for a longer period there is going to be stability in your returns look at a three year sip returns it had a negative value of minus 14 percent when market crashed by 23 percent this 23 percent correction has never happened in the past if you look at this graph this is a significant fall always the crash is around 10 15 percent only even when there was a crash of 23 percent the 10 year sip return was still positive it was still positive at 1.67 in fact before that month it was positive at around some 8 9 percent then it fall fell down to 1.67 and the next month itself it started moving up to some 4 5 percent and gradually the returns kept on moving up 
and the maximum return the maximum 10 year return was in the month of september 2021 in fact september 2021 was the best period maybe 17618 and march 2020 the nifty was 8598 this does not include the dividend yield if you add a dividend yield so everywhere the minimum return or maximum return you can broadly add another 1 and 1/2 2% so your maximum returns if you do a 10 year sip would have been something like 16 percentage types and the minimum returns would have been some 3 and 1/2 percent types that is if you are exiting at the worst position so what i normally advise people is do a systematic investment sip investment when you want to exit also there is something called a systematic withdrawal every month you keep withdrawing so in this way you will not be bothered about the market up movement and down movement if you know well about market do equity investing if you are not able to track markets well please do mutual fund investing in the sip route even in equities also you can do sip route every month you can contribute 10000 20000 25000 in equities uh, what happens is you should need to have at least a decent amount of capital uh, if you are not having capital of even 2 3 lakhs rupees then it is not good to invest in equity market because just investing 50000 and doing so much of research at your end will not add any value so for equity investing you should have at least a sizable capital for mutual fund you can even start with an sip of 2000 5000 10000 so uh, the end conclusion i want to give is mutual fund investing or equity investing is very critical you should do it for your retirement planning you should ideally invest 100 minus you should ideally invest 100 minus the age of the person 100 minus age of the person in the equity side and the balance can be invested in the debt side the balance investments can happen in the debt market by this way by this way you will be able to generate superior returns and if you invest for a longer period of time you will not be impacted by the market movement with this i'll end the video uh if you want us to cover any other topic uh, or if you have any views on the videos on the content presented you can please uh, comment on this i am also providing my contact details so you can also send a message or an mail to us thank you